Hello guys, today we are going to learn how to multiply by two digit numbers. In this example we have 24 times 13, 24 times 13. Remember to write one number above the other, so the ones and tens places are lined up. To multiply by a two digit number you just need to follow three steps. In the first step we are going to multiply 24 by three ones, 24 by three ones, and we are going to write that number over here. In the second step, we're going to multiply 24 by 110, that's right, 24 by 110, and we are going to write that number over here. In the third step, we just need to add these two numbers together to get our final answer. That's it, let me raise the board. Let's start with the first step. In this step, we're going to multiply 24 by 3 ones, 24 by 3 ones. We don't need this digit right now, I can use this flower but we need the 3 times table, it's over there. We start with 3 times 4 and then we move to the left. 3 times 4 equals 12, that's right, 3 times 4 equals 12. We are going to put the 2 over here, and what about the 1? If I put this digit over here, this digit is going to get upset, so we are going to carry the 1 above the 2 in the tenths column, that's right. Now we move to the left, 3 times 2 equals 6. Plus one that we carry, give us seven, seven. Once again, three times two equals six, plus one is seven, and we finish with the first step. Now we're going to raise this digit, the digits that we carry. For the second step, we don't need this digit, we don't need it, so I'm going to use the flower again. In the second step, we're going to multiply 24 by one ten. 24 by one ten. 24 times 10, that's why we're going to start a new line with a 0 on the right. Now we multiply 1 times 4 and then we move to the left, always to the left. 1 times 4 equals 4, that's easy, 1 times 4 equals 4. We move to the left, 1 times 2 equals 2, 1 times 2 equals 2. And we finish with the second step, we finish with the second step. For the third step, what are we going to do? Well, in the third step, we just need to add these two numbers together to get our final answer. Let me put this sign over here. Help me please. 2 plus 0 equals 2. Now, 7 plus 4 equals 11. 11. Put this one over here and the other digit. Ah, we're going to carry the other digit to the hundreds column. Finally, 1 plus 2 equals Three, and that's our final answer. Our final answer is 312. That's right, 312. Was it difficult? Mm, I don't think so. Once again, let's remember the three steps. In the first step, we multiplied 24, 24 by three ones, 24 by three ones, and 24 times three equals 72. That's okay. In the second step, we multiply 24. 24 by, by 110, 110 or 10. 24 times 10 equals 240, that makes sense. Remember, we start the second line with a zero on the right. Why? Because we multiplied by a number that ends with zero. This zero move from here to here. In the third step, we add those two numbers together to get our final answer. And finally, 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 don't forget that in a multiplication, the numbers that are being multiplied are called factors. These two numbers are called partial products. And our final answer is called product. Once again, factor, factor, partial product, partial product, and product. In the following example, we have 317 times 25. 317 times 25. Remember to write one number above the other, so the ones and tens places are lined up. To multiply by a two digit number, you just need to follow three steps. In the first step, we're going to multiply 317 by five ones, 317 by five ones. In the second step, we're going to multiply 317 by two tens, 317 by two tens. 
And finally, in the third step, we just need to add these two numbers together to get our final answer. That's it, let me erase the board. In the first step, we're gonna multiply 317 by five ones. I don't need to see it right now, I can use a flower, but what I need, I need the five times table. Let's start with five times seven, and then we move to the left. Five times seven equals 35, that's right. 5 times 7 equals 35. We're going to put the 5 over here. And what about the 3? If I put the 3 in this place, this 1 is going to get upset. So we're going to carry the 3 above the 1 in the 10th column. Now we move to the left. 5 times 1 equals 5. Plus 3 that we carry give us 8. Once again, once again, please. 5 times 1 equals 5 plus three that we carry is eight. We move to the left, five times three equals 15. Now we can put both digits here because there are no more digits to multiply on the left. That's it, we finish with the first step. Now we're going to raise the digits that we carry. For the second step, we don't need this digit. No, we don't need this digit. I'm going to put the flower again because in the second step, we're going to multiply 317 by two tenths. That's right, 317 by two tenths, 317 times 20. That's why we're going to start a new line with a zero on the right. And now we have two times seven, and then we move to the left. Two times seven equals 14, 14, we're going to put the four over here. And what about the one? We carry the one to the next column. Now, two times one equals two, plus one is three, three, that's right. Once again, two times one equals two, plus one that we carry, give us three. Finally, two times three equals six, Six, that's right. We finish with the second and the second, the second step. Now, in the third step, we just need to add these two numbers together to get our final answer. Help me, please. Five plus zero is five. Next column. Eight plus four is 12. We're going to put the two and we carry the one to the next column. One plus five is six plus three is nine. Finally, one plus six is seven. That's it, we finish. Our final answer is 7,925. 7,925. Do you remember the three steps? Well, in the first step, we multiply 317 by five ones. 317 times five, equals 1,585, that's okay. In the second step, we multiply 317, 317 by two tenths, by two tenths, or 20, mm, that's right. 317 times 20 equals 6,340, 40. Um, maybe you ask yourself, why do we have a zero here? Well, because we multiply it by a number that ends with zero. We multiply it by 20. This zero move from here to here. And in the third step, we add these two numbers together to get our final answer. That's it. That's all for today. You will find the multiplication playlist in the video information. Have a good one and see you next lesson.